I'm old, as I say. I'm 50. Uh, well, maybe if I take off my mask and see, I maybe don't look like I'm 50. Some people say no, but it doesn't really matter. But what was really sad was not about the photos or the misunderstanding about all that. With his bedimpled smile and gym toned physique, Catholic priest Ferdi Santos has been the talk of the internet for days as he left thousands of Filipinos thirsty for a man of the cloth. While it was later revealed his viral photos were taken 17 years ago, it didn't stop the internet from expressing desire towards the priest. In response to his accidental fame, Santos tried to remind fans that a person's character is more important than looks. What really made me sad was the fact that we've seen that, that we're so hung up on appearances and we forget that while appearances are important they're not the most important what lies inside a person in fact is far more valuable what's inside a person's heart is far more important than what a person's face looks like even after his ceremony the sexual comments kept coming and left some asking have people gone too far? It is a pervasive view among gender scholars that men cannot be objectified completely given the absence of a systemic form of discrimination commonly experienced by women and LGBTQIA groups. The institution Santos comes from, the church, isn't also a writ of criticism when it comes to the issue of sexual abuse, given its well-documented perpetration of it that involve children. The church is also known for views that are regarded as harmful to women, such as its staunch opposition to the reproductive health law, which it referred to before as anti-life. But while men have historically been more guilty of sexual and demeaning offenses than women, Santos's case reminds everyone that men, too, can be victims, gender and society professor Janice Zamora Morales told reporter. Jokes aside, a line must be drawn between admiration and harassment. When the subject of the remark was offended or violated, and when the remarks elicit disgust from the public, it qualifies as harassment. It doesn't help that usually, men who feel harassed normally don't talk about it in public to maintain the macho image that society expects of them, said Morales, noting this could further aggravate the situation as repressing emotions can be a threat for men in the future. According to Morales, objectifying men because they were the perpetrators before does not address this gender issue but even aggravates it. It is also wrong to interpret such behavior as a form of equity, as equality cannot be achieved by depriving men of the same dignity argued in most cases of abuse that all genders should have. Bottom line is, harassment is wrong, regardless of gender, man of God, or not. <laughs>